hello guys, and welcome to this week's tour. And this one, I'm going to show you how to make this really cool uh, sci-fi logo animation that was really simple to make. I even used it for my own logo. Just before I get started, guys, comment down below what kind of videos you want me to make. It helps me out a lot, and a sub to the channel would be amazing. But now, let's get right into it. So I'm going to start off with an empty Blender scene. I'm going to shift A and add in a text. So, and then I'm going to go into the text settings. I'm going to change the alignment to center and then center. Perfect. I'm going to change the geometry. I'm going to extrude it out of it. So to 0.4 and give it a depth of 0.01. And then I'm going to change the font. So we go into our font. I'll link down below the font I use so you can get, download it and use it. So I'm going to open this font and we've got this. So I'm going to change the text. I'm going to change it to Blender. To edit the text, you just press tab and it like goes into an edit mode for text. So we've got this. Okay, this looks pretty cool, but now I'm gonna add in my camera. Then I'm gonna press zero. Oh, control Z. I'm gonna press shift A, add in my camera. Then I'm gonna press zero, and then I'm gonna grab and zoom out. So we've got the blender in the middle here. So I'm gonna go into the shading, and now I'm gonna give it a new shader. So I'm gonna add in a mix shader here. Shift A, mix shader. Uh, I'm gonna add in a shift A, uh, shift A. Emission, okay, plug that baby into here, then plug it in, and then shift A, I'm gonna get in a Voronoi, Voronoi texture, plug the distance into a factor, and then shift A, add in a color amp. Okay, so what we're gonna do with this is I'm gonna change the base color to a nice purple, I'm gonna change it, no roughness, and increase the specular, and I'm gonna change the emission to a nice teal blue and change the strength to 75. Okay, and now we're gonna flip the color ramp, move this in as tightly as possible and change the, it from F1 to distance to edge. I'm just bring this in a little bit more. And I'm gonna shift A, add in a noise texture, noise texture, color into a vector, I'm gonna plug the color into a vector, increase the detail, decrease the scale a little bit, of both and yeah and now we've got something like this but like it's very stretched out because it's across all of the objects so then we're gonna do is convert this object to a mesh tap into edit mode press a and press f f3 and then merge by distance so now we merged a thousand pounds of vertices and now we're gonna press p and separate by loose parts so now each of these is a loose part Okay, pretty good looking now, and it looks really sexy, but we're just going to animate also the noise texture. So we're going to give myself a timeline and then change this noise texture to 4D. So in on frame 1, I'm going to give it, insert a single keyframe, and on frame two, 190, so I'm going to give myself 190 frames. And on this 190th frame, I'm going to give myself 0.3, and then press I. So now we've got this, so our little squiggles are moving around and looks sci-fi-esque okay pretty freaking good so now let's start uh, lighting this and animating this okay uh, so we're going to go into this tab turn on ambient occlusion bloom screen space reflection and then motion blur at the same time so what have we got here i'm gonna decrease the background strength to zero shift it i'm gonna add in a light an area grab it on the x go into front view rotate it something like this grab on a z move it up here i'm gonna change its power to 600 turn it into a disc and increase the size of it so i'm gonna scale it up a bit and now we've got this going on looks really really beautiful so um okay that looks pretty good i'm gonna move it up a bit okay pretty much done so let's start animating it so we're gonna go into the transformation settings and i'm gonna add in a keyframe for all of these at frame 90. So I'm going to move the B, I'm going to be moving it across the X. So I'm going to give it a single keyframe. The R, I'm going to be moving it also on the X. The Y, the L, I'm going to be moving it on the Y. So that's this. And then I'm going to move all these uh, objects on these axes. So um, insert single keyframe, insert single keyframe. Yeah, it's a bit tedious, but it will just look nice. So we're going to be separating all these pieces and then forming them back together. So, and then set, yeah, into single keyframe. And now I'm going to give for the N and the D movement on the Z. So that's this axis. So I'm going to insert a single keyframe, insert a single keyframe, 
and then insert a single keyframe. So now we've got this kind of thing. So let's go to frame zero and start animating the movement. So I'm gonna move this out here, give it a single keyframe, move this out here a bit further, insert a single keyframe. I'm gonna move my L down, insert a single keyframe, move this piece up, insert a single keyframe, move this piece up, and something like this is gonna be happening. I know it looks, it's a bit boring, but bear with me, it's worth it in the end. It's not that long overall. So split all these pieces up and yeah. So I left the N and the D for last because I'm gonna be moving them on the Z. So I'm gonna bring this piece up past this camera a little bit. So somewhere here, and I'm gonna put, put, put this to negative six on the Z and insert my keyframe and this on negative 11. So like this. And now we've got this movement. So everything gets split up and formed back into place. But it's very snappy. So for example, like the N and the D, like they just snap into place and I'd want to add a little bit of balance. So what I'm gonna do is split my view here. So I'm gonna go up here, split my view, I'm gonna zoom in here and I'm gonna take out the graph editor. I'm gonna um, have my transformation here. I'm gonna just press P and change it to the ZA. Okay, so we've got this. So I'm gonna get these nodes and I'm gonna bring this out of the, like, so I'm gonna make it a sharper turn. So basically what that means is it's gonna be moving a bit faster and snappier into place. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grab this a little bit and I'm gonna start adding some bounce. So how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna duplicate this node and I'm gonna scale it down and I'm gonna duplicate it and then scale, press S to scale down. And now if we look at our N, it has like some kind of bounce. But um, it's a bit too harsh here, so I just wanna scale these down and we've got this. But we need to make it a bit faster, so just bring these nodes in a little bit. And, and now we've got this. Okay, so that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna do the same thing for the um, the other part of the N and the D. And yeah, I'm gonna get back to you in a bit. So now I've added these busy curves to all these points. So it looks something like this and it moves something like this. So we have a little bit of bounce to it. So that's pretty much perfect. We're nearly done. We nearly got to the end. So I'm gonna give myself depth of field. I'm gonna change my focus to 0.3. And luckily um, the focus is exactly at like 10 meters. So we can just put the F stop to 0.3 and now we're going to be out of focus back here and then in focus here. But last thing for these ends, I'm going to give them um, scale, um, the uh, keyframes on the scale on frame 90. So I'm going to keep them at one here and then on frame zero, I'm going to bring them to. I'm going to give us a keyframe of zero. Uh, and then here, I'm going to give us a keyframe of zero. All right. And then we have this as an animation. So they, they're not there at the beginning and they're there afterwards. Last thing we can do is we animate the slide. So frame 120, we give it a keyframe on the power. And on frame 150, we give it a keyframe of zero on the power. And so now we have it purple at the beginning. And then afterwards, it becomes like dark and looking like this. So let's go into the exporting tab. That's it for the animation. So I'm gonna change the um, file to called I love, love my subs. And I'm gonna change the file format to FFmpeg encoding to MP4 and output quality to perceptually lossless. And so that's how you make this really cool animation. So if you press F12 or Control 12, you get this as a render and it looks sick. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want more of these kind of videos, just comment down below what, what you want. Like, uh, it always helps out. And yeah, see you guys in the next year. And yeah, bye-bye.